Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs, and freaks of nature of all ages. My name is Brian Bad Hippie Jackson, and welcome to my YouTube. And uh, welcome back to Let's Build. We're working with the Unreal Development Kit. And let's go ahead and figure out where my player start point is. So we're going to go click over into Scene. We're going to select Player Start Zero, and we're going to go to Actor. And there he is right there. And we're going to set my camera up pretty close to the actor so that we're... There we go. That'll work right there. Now we're going to zoom this out a little bit. And what we're going to start working on today is now that we've got our basic landscaping in. And I did make one change to the landscape. Um, I took that concrete texture and I changed it into something that more greatly resembles asphalt because we're not really going to need concrete in the landscaping uh, for the sidewalks and stuff like that we're going to be using meshes to make the sidewalks with so we'll use the concrete texture straight on the mesh we won't need it in the landscape so the concrete texture in the landscape is actually an asphalt texture to make our roads with okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and leave that box right there, that right there. We're going to leave it there as kind of a height reference. And we're going to pull a couple of other things in real quick that we're going to need. Um, so we're going to pop open our content browser. We're going to go up to content. And in our uh, search bar, we're going to select skeletal mesh. And then we're going to scroll down these skeletal meshes until we get to the Liam Cathode robot because that is the default character that UDK uses, which is what we're using right now. And we're going to drag that in. Now that's still a skeletal mesh, um, but it won't move or anything unless we actually assign an animation to it. The only thing we're going to be using it for uh, let's go ahead and go to actor. The only thing we're going to be using it for is um, as a height reference so that when we start building our buildings and our houses and stuff like that we've got a character size height reference so we know how big to make our doors and things of that nature. And since we're going to be building a cul-de-sac and it's going to be a street we're going to go over a little bit closer to our player character or player start point and we're going to bring in another skeletal mesh or two so we're going to click open our content browser again we're going to stay in skeletal meshes and we're going to pull it down a little bit further until we find the scorpion the scorpion is the wheeled vehicle that comes bundled with UDK so we're going to pull a couple of those in so that we have a size reference for um, let's see go to the actor so that we have a size reference for cars and we can make our we know that we can make our street the proper size so let's go ahead and just flip that bad boy around 180 and make something that resembles two cars passing each other all right, and if we go ahead and click play, and I don't think we're going to need this weapon. Now we've got two vehicles for size reference, and we've got a character size reference right there. Now the thing about these is since they're not, uh, you can't interact with them, they also don't have any colliders, so you can just go right through them. But we're not really going to worry about that too much because these are just size reference things, so we're not going to worry about having colliders on them or not. All right. Now that we've got that done, we can select this box. Actually, let's go to Edit, select None, and we'll go ahead and rebuild our lighting and stuff real quick. Alright, note the lighting rebuilt. 
And of course, we're going to get some warnings that the maps aren't built with production lighting. We already know that. And we're also going to get lighting warnings on those skeletal mesh actors that we brought in, but we're not going to worry about that because it's not important since we're not using them for anything but size references. Okay, so now we're going to grab our builder brush. And then we're going to go up here to the cylinder. We're going to right click on that. We're going to make it hollow. And we're going to put 16 sides on it instead of 8, which is going to make it a little bit more round, closer to an actual cul-de-sac. All right, and we want the, uh, let's see, the inner radius needs to be 1024. And the outer radius, where's my trusty dusty calculator? Always keep a trusty dusty calculator handy because the outer radius needs to be 1024 with a little adjustment. And we want the width of the sidewalk to be a 128. So we're going to go 1024 plus 128. That's 1152. So the outer radius needs to be 1152. There we go. And now we're going to go ahead and hit the Z or Z axis, which is our height. And we're going to make that 8. Then we're going to zoom way, way in on this thing. We're going to right click on any one of those on the bottom so that it snaps it to the grid and then we're going to bring it down and make it even with the ground. Okay, let's bring that back up. There we go. That looks good right there. Alright, and now we're going to go ahead and click on CSG Add and that is going to add us in our circular sidewalk. Actually, we just might need to undo that. So let's go ahead and undo that. Um, and before we click that CSG add, let's grab this box in the center. We're going to hold Alt and we're going to drag off a couple of copies. And what we're doing here is we want, I believe we want five buildings in our cul-de-sac. So what we're going to do is just drag off a couple of copies of these static mesh boxes um, so that we can use them as placeholders for the location of our buildings. And I think we're only going to go with three right now. We don't need all five of them. If we've got three placeholders in, that's going to give us a fairly good idea as to where things need to be. Let's pull that back that way. So if we're going to have five, put one there. Let's see if we skip three. We can put one there. Nope, let's skip two. Put one there. <clears throat> All right. Now, the other way you can make a copy is select whatever it is you want to select, right click, copy, right click, paste. Oh, that did not work right. I selected the wrong thing. Let's zoom in closer. Copy. Paste. There we go. And pull that one straight across. And then we're going to go down and do the same thing with this other one. Copy. 
paste and pull it straight across and now we've got basically little placeholders for our buildings of course those aren't going to be used for the buildings that just lets us know pretty much about where we want to put our driveways when we start building up our um, when we start building up our houses so we're going to select none and we're going to rebuild the lights again real quick all right there we go lights are built again real quick I'm going to go ahead and open up my content browser. I'm going to look at my scene and make sure that that landscape did not duplicate. Okay, and it didn't. So we're, we're far out groovy and right on there. Awesome. Okay, now we can select our cul-de-sac now that we've got our placeholders in. And we're going to change the sides from 16 to 32. And that's going to make a more rounded sidewalk for us. Now we can hit CSG Add. If we go to Unlit here, we can see that we've got a nice sidewalk sitting there. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and close that out. And we're going to select the square, which is going to put our brush back in the center at the right size. And we're going to go down here. And we're going to make sure that our vehicles... are centered properly. That one needs to come over just a tad. There we go. Which is going to give us the width that we're going to need to uh, make the street that's coming into the cul-de-sac. So we're going to right click on that. And right now the width is 256 on the Y. And so we're going to add another 128 to that I think. That's going to give us a 384. So let's add that. 384. Enter. Yeah, that's going to work good for that. We're going to bring that up and actually that sidewalk needs to come up. There we go. That's better. And then we're going to grab our box and we're going to set the z-axis to 8. Going to zoom out a little bit. And we're going to bring this down and snap it to the grid. All right. And with that right there, we should be able to go ahead and hit CSG subtract. Not quite working the way I wanted it to. So let's undo that. And let's change the height of that from 8 to 16 just to make sure it encompasses not 1600 just 16 damn it there we go and pull that up let's reset the snap grid to about 4 there we are bring that in just a tad and now let's CSG subtract. There we go. That's what we were looking for. Much better. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and grab our box. And we're going to change the width to 128. Which is the width of our sidewalk. We're going to scoot it over here so it's even. With our cut. Up. Ah, poop. We're 
going to pull it down right there. That looks good. And now we're going to change the X to 1024 to give it some length. Make sure that everything's centered up good. Actually, let's make it a 2048. That's good right there. And hit CSG build. Now we're going to take our builder brush, scoot it to the other side, and line our sidewalk up there as well. And CSG add. And now we can reset our box to 256, tab 256, tab 256. Pull our snap grid back up to about 16. And line that bad boy back up with the ground. And then we can take our builder brush and put it back over here around this box where it originally was so that we know where it is when we need it again. There we go, just like that. And that has our basic cul-de-sac built. Now what we need to do is get some concrete texture on that bad boy. Huh, what am I looking at there? That's going to be too wide. Yep, that's a 16 and it should be an 8. But that's okay, we can fix that. So let's grab that. Let's drop this snap grid back down to about an 8. Let's take it down a little bit further, down to about a four. There we go. That one works. Now where's the other one? There it is. Select the other one and bring it down level as well. Rebuild CSG, and now our sidewalks are even and level. And now we can go ahead and select a piece of sidewalk, and then we right click on it. And if we select surfaces, we can select matching texture, which is going to select all the sidewalk. Now we get rid of this skeletal mesh that thing that we did. We go to materials and we can type in concrete or cement or something of that nature and we don't seem to have any cement textures let's see if we've got any concrete textures yeah we do let's look at that concrete base there and see what it looks like uh. I don't think I want that. Let's try floors. Floor. All right. Looks like we're going to have some better options with floors. <clears throat> Organic. Let's look at that one. See if it's got a physical material on it. 
and it does. It's got a stone physical material, so it's already going to give us what we need for sound. Let's check this other one up here that's a little bit and see if it's got a physical material. And it's got a stone physical material too. I kind of like the way that one looks. So we're going to right click and we're going to apply material gray tiles. And that's going to put a kind of a sidewalk texture on it. Which looks pretty good. Honestly. Kind of like the way that's matching up. And uh, I like the way it's curving around, so I don't think I want to change the alignment because I like the way, by default, it kind of curves around and follows the follows the lay of the sidewalk. That looks good. Okay, excellent. So we're going to drop that down, and now what we're going to do is we're going to zoom this out. Actually, we're going to bring it in here. We're going to maximize this window so that we can see what we're doing better. And we're going to start putting in our asphalt texture. So we're going to go to Landscape Editor. We're going to pull the editor way over here so it's out of the way for the most part. We're going to go down and we're going to select Concrete. And then we're going to go up and we're going to change our brush fall off from 50 to 0 because we want a solid brush. And we're going to change the brush size to 256. And we're going to hold control and left click. And we're going to start painting in this asphalt texture. And what we're doing right now is just trying to get this asphalt texture Let's go ahead and change the strength to 1. There we go. And if there's a little bit of grass showing on the edge by the sidewalk, that's okay because it would make sense. But we're going to try to not have it bleeding out on the other side. So we're going to do these edges first. And then if we need to fix stuff later, we can always come back in and change our brush size and do that. But we want to try to keep things, or at least the way I do it, I try to keep things as neat as possible as I go so that I have less to fix later. Just makes sense to me to do it that way. The less you have to fix later on down the line, the less you have to fix later on down the line. Make it as good as you can right from the get-go and you do less time fixing and repairing which is going to help your production pipeline. Here we go probably going to have to take the brush down smaller when we go do that other little piece of street down at the bottom, but that's okay. We can do that. And that looks pretty good. And even though you can't, well, maybe not. If I can just do it carefully, then I should be able to pull this asphalt straight down this road without it bleeding out over the edges. There we go. That looks good. Select this box in the center, control X and get rid of it since we don't need it anymore. Pop that back in like that. And let's go ahead and build all. Okay, that went by pretty quick, amazingly enough. And now we have our cul-de-sac. We've got a asphalt road. We've got 
concrete tiled sidewalks. If I hit play, I can hide that weapon. And we've got stone sound on the asphalt. We got a stone sound on the sidewalk. And actually, let me go ahead and pull this volume up a little bit. Take that up to about 15. Let me hit play again. There we go. So we got a grass sound in the grass. We got a stone sound on the sidewalk. And we got a stone sound on the asphalt. And the asphalt actually looks pretty darn good. And the tiling is not nearly as noticeable when you're up close. And then once we start putting other uh, objects and assets in like light poles and trash cans and other vehicles and debris and things of that nature then the tiling is going to be almost invisible. Alright, that looks pretty good there. Okay, so with that done we're going to go ahead and go up to File and we're going to Save Current Level make sure we save our work all right and that is the basics on how to work with BSP and CSG as far as uh, with some CSG add and some CSG subtract and a little bit of the basics on how to add materials to your CSG once it's built a little bit of landscape painting and when we come back next time we're going to start working on our buildings and once we get the basics of our buildings blocked in then we'll go around the outer edges of that landscape and start pulling up a few hills and things of that nature so that it disguises the edge of the world and we'll start throwing in some trees maybe bring in a couple of static mesh buildings back there to make it look like another subdivision someplace else but to, to flush that out a little bit but the next step in the parade is going to be to start blocking out our um, our buildings our houses uh, maybe get some fences put in so that we know where our yards are and can start working with that. I think at least one or two of the yards is going to have a swimming pool so that we'll have swimmable water. We'll probably have garages and I might even try to uh, sink some of that landscape down underneath a building or two so that one or two of the buildings should probably have an attic and another one or two of the buildings should probably have a basement. We want plenty of places to explore in this. All right, so we're going to go ahead and call that good right there now that we've got the basics of BSP set in. Um, please do not forget to check the links in the description below for the Wounded Warriors Project and the Disabled American Veterans. Let's please help and support our veterans, especially this time of year during the winter. It is cold out there. Let's try to get some of those homeless veterans off the street, get a hot meal on their stomachs, some warm clothes on their backs, and a roof over their heads. So please check the links for the Disabled American Veterans and the Wounded Warriors Project, and let's support and help our veterans. If you liked the video, then hit the like button subscribe and share tell your friends and family to hit the like button subscribe and share and don't forget to ring my bell please leave me a comment all comments are always welcome good bad or somewhere in between thank you very much for watching I greatly greatly appreciate your support I couldn't do this without you and until next time this is Brian bad hippie Jackson saying peace love clean underwear and happy gaming